certain team fights, new ways you can challenge uh, teams holding on to certain compounds and uh, your positioning as well. Uh, those are the things that teams uh, do during the scrims. But I agree with you on one thing. Whatever mistakes are being made here, whatever uh, miscommunication that's happening between the teams over here needs to be fixed before the actual event starts. Yes, absolutely. And that is exactly why the scrims are made, you know, yes. to warm you up, to let you know what uh, action you might face, uh, what are the kind of enemies, what kind of uh, gunpowder, what uh, kind of strats they're doing. Uh, take a look at the map feed, uh, try to learn things around, try to strategize, try to make your rotations right. But uh, now, this is going to be really tricky. Now the tides have turned. Now it has all come down to Venom Legends uh, holding off to that church compound. And still, the players of Stalwart survive. Malik, we can see him. Abrupt slays. Uh, well, Heaven uh, just surviving with the smoke uh, cover that he has for himself. But for how long? That is definitely going to be a question as Heaven tried to spot one down but fails to connect the shot and get that knock. Well, definitely. And that is going to be a Jump. tricky situation for... Why do you want him to jump? <laughs> All right, don't jump. Spot out a player and, uh, uh, down below you and finish him off completely. Jumping was a bad decision, dude. <laughs> no, no wonder your team's always lost. <laughs> that's why I'm trash. <laughs> <laughs> I could, that's why, you know, I'm not a competitive player. But I would have jumped from this point. <laughs> and that would have been crazy. You know, so yeah. pull off something really out of the book and, you know, good go. I have a bike. Then that, that was the time to go in for a wheelie if you really want to do that. Yeah. I'm, uh, he, he got one kill. You would have given away. <laughs> one kill. You were giving away yes. your point. You know, that's why I'm casting. You, you, you got kicked out of the roster, I can tell that. But, that, that's, but. What, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Coming back to the action, we have five teams, we have mm. 11 players. Venom Legends, they hold a really, really strong compound for themselves in the form of this church. Uh, the problem lies in the fact that the guy up above them that is the only guy who can cause them problems. Other than that, everyone is down on the low ground along with them, and they can take these fights quite comfortably. This team has the man advantage in terms of the numbers of players that they have as well. Team Bubble, we do see them still surviving into the top five with just two players okay. to their sides. And the players of Venom Legends, they have taken rooms. They are just, well, I, th I think they're being patient and they're waiting for the other teams to aggress. Uh, well, uh, right now, uh, they're going in for the press. <laughs> and yes, he does that. He survived. I'm telling you, get that oh. kill. There you go. Get Captain, I love you, my friend. With the way you have played in, th you know, this is action. This is what I would have done, but I would have taken that jump. I would be on very low HP. I would have been knocked out. But yes, that's the probable reason why he is playing in the BMPL. But at the end of the day, Team World getting that kill onto its gunner and taking down a well of BT and Jayan Mara over there. Yeah, Jayan Mara, they take an exit. Ah, the captain, the man, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, the man is insane. Uh, but still needs to deal with the players of Bablu though. We are down to three teams in this match. It is ASL captain surviving all alone. It's a one versus two versus three scenario. Venom Legends, they sit there in the center of this house with the man at one to the side. The blue zone is coming in. The boosters have been started already. The Adrenaline and syringe already being taken by the players. But on the other side, who is going to come out on top? We're going to find out in a few moments. Uh, captain needs to take a fight, needs to challenge, needs to contest the players of either Bablu or Venom Legends to go for the points. But he has done his job. ASL, his teammates right behind them on the high ground. And the nades are coming in as well. Can you land this one perfectly? Chari, how accurate are you going to be? It lands in those, but the damage is just not going to come in. He jumps down. His HP falls down as well. He's going to have to heal up and then go for the fight. But Captain, he charges in. He goes on to the rooftops. Whoa. The job for him is just going to be to survive the damage from the blue zone as the players from Team Bablu are falling down. Pikachu knocked out and the kill is being taken away. Dean Wolf still surviving on the edge of the wall, but he's going to be finished off as well. Captain securing two extra kills. That's eight points coming in for this one team. Three out of which Captain has secured by the insane madness that he's just okay. It's a 3v3 situation between ASL, Abrupt Slayers, and the players of Team Venom. And Venom, they are just forced to hide as the players of ASL. They wait for the clock to run out. They wait for the players of Venom Legends to come out. And the smokes are being deployed. Who is going to come out on top of this fight? There's Captain with the high ground round on him. Evil Eye going for the shots through the smoke, trying to see if he can find the players of ASL, but now Nightwing Whoa. is going to be taken down as Captain spots him out through the window. Now it's just two remaining. The door has been blown up. Another one falls down. Evil Eye is going to be the last man surviving and he's hiding inside the smoke. The players of ASL, they are going to go for the hand down. Captain knows exactly where the last man is. The points have been secured. That's now Evil Eye, he is going to be finished off as the players of ASL Chari goes in, checks inside, but he is just going to let Evil Eye walk 
away, he steps out close to the shots. One knock is gonna come and can he get the second one as well? Captain on top, but Evil Eye, he gets taken down as ASL, they win this fight. He does it. Captain does it. The MVP of this game, undoubtedly. So much, so much he did that in those last crucial moments, ensuring Abrupt Slayer's victory. You know, right from that jump and that uh, knock that he did, and oh. after that, going all the way up of the church, and that was perfect. Had he had a few first hits, had that gone uh, boiled down to a heel battle, he could have pulled out one as, as well. But staying on the high ground, you could get those sound cues. Yeah. He relayed every single information to his teammates. That was perfect teamwork. Those were some hard ballsy plays that he pulled out, and as a result, of which a winner winner chicken dinner coming out for abrupt slayers exactly and that was a mindset of steel man because once your hp drops down below i think 30 percent is when the players start getting uncomfortable in team fights but he knew exactly how he had to be precise jump down low hp takes down one guy not just him though Chari made a similar jump as yes. well. He lost uh, around 30 to 35% uh, of his HP bar in that one jump. And had the players of Venom Legends just aggressed at that point, they could have taken uh, a 3v3 fight against ASL and come out on top. But they delayed it. They gave them the opportunity to heal up. Yes, absolutely. And uh, well, uh, for me, I know who the MVP is. But let's see what the stats call out for. Let's uh, check who the MVP of this particular game is going to be. And that's going to be VT and Jain Mara's gunner. Curtsy to the 6 kill and 978 damage, he is the MVP of this particular match. But so much, so much really happened uh, in oh. the last final circle. It was that church it came down to and him taking that, you know, height advantage, taking the stairs, yeah. going up above. He did spot out the players of Bablu, of guard, and uh, they, they, did not, they did not see him coming. And, you know, those are those kind of uh, unpredictable and risky plays that win you the games. You need to take those risks to reap higher rewards. I completely agree with that. Had the players of Team Bablu taken the risk of wrapping around the church and yes. going in the blue zone for, I think, just one or two seconds, they would have spotted him out. Because if you go back a little bit, like five minutes back in that final team fight, yes. Team Bablu, they were charging in from the left side of the church. Captain was at the back. The other players of the ASL war were on the top on the right-hand side. There was no support coming in for him. He could have been finished off and that would have resulted in the outcome being, well, massively different. Yes, the, you know, things could have been different, but what really happened was Abrupt Slayers got themselves an amazing, amazing chicken dinner out there. But right now, let's take a look at the other top players in this game that are going to be following up Kana. And we do have Captain on the second spot. Um, and just two kills shy, but uh, he's there at the damage. 965 being the exact number. Four kills for himself. And even Chari. Uh, the, yeah. the kind of support that you mentioned coming in from him. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they did not you know, have much of those good covers. They knew that they have to make those whiskey plays and they actually went in for it. But uh, coming to the fourth position, we do have Cooney followed